Hi, this is Lola, I'm the Marketer Manager at Digit, and I'm going to do you a quick show around of how to set up your virtual booth. So first of all, when you come on to do an event with Digit, you're going to get an email from the events managers who will give you login details to get into the back end to be able to build your virtual booth. So they'll give you the URL, a username and password, so just pop that in and press login. First thing you want to look at is the content library. I'm not going to go into the details of how to add your content to the content library. That is actually provided in the how to build your virtual booth by Six Connects, which will be attached to your welcome email and also the onboarding page. So if you just go to virtual rooms, your virtual booth will show just here. If you go to edit, and here you're presented with a template. You can change that by going to manage template and then change template. Then you've got a choice of um, three templates. There's actually four templates here because one is a little version of the other. We're just going to choose F2 for this video. Create booth. So this is your booth template. The first thing you want to do is go to the top left corner. This is your logo. So if you click here and go to graphic image, this is automatically going to be cropped to these pixels, so always make sure you're designing in a minimum of these pixels. So just go to browse. And we're going to grab Digit's logo. And pop it in here. Just make sure it's cropped to how you want it. And then press OK. Next thing you want to do is make sure that logo clicks somewhere. So we're going to click it again and then go to click action. So we're just going to call this digit website. So we recommend that all your logos go to your main website. So we're going to go to open external URL and then pop the URL in there. And there's two options here. You can either open it in a separate browser tab or open in an iframe. For your main websites, we recommend you open in a separate browser tab. Just bear in mind that any click actions that you put to go in a separate browser tab will lead the delegate away from the virtual platform which we try and discourage as much as possible. So we're just going to put open in a, a separate browser and then press OK. So that's been completed there. If you need to go back in and check what you've done again just click on it, click on the graphic image and just double check everything is how you want it to be. Then the next is this screen here. So this can just be a click action to one place or it can just be branded. It doesn't have to be a click action. So we'll go here and then you would add your graphic first. So there we go. We've just added um, an event and then you press OK. And the next thing is to add your click action. So we wanted it to click to the event booking website. So we'll just add this in here. So call it IA 2020 booking. Select an action. Again, open external URL. So for this one, I want it to stay in an iframe so that the user doesn't get directed away from the platform and all of the iframes no matter whether it's a website a pdf a link an image will always be set up in 800 width by 900 height so if you just pop that in there 800 by 900 this just makes sure that all the users can see it on their screen So just to note here that some of the URLs don't always open in iframe. That's defined by the URL and not by Six Connects or Digit. So as a rule of thumb, we just kind of um, put it in wherever we can. And then if needed, we can check for you. Press OK. And the next step is to build up your content on your booth. So again, you just click here, add the graphic which would promote the content behind that screen. So for example, we'll just get a digit one here called About Us. And then we click it again and then add the content behind that window. So we're just going to call the content window About Us. And the first thing you want to do whenever you sign in any content is add a category. Again, just make it related to that screen. So we're just going to call it About Us and then press OK. 
and then you're going to add your content. Select your category and then here is where all of the content that you've uploaded to your content library will show. Again, that's in the how to build your virtual booth six connects guide if you need to learn more about that. Make sure you upload all of your content to the content library before building your booth. The reason is because all of the content is going to show up on your reports. If you didn't upload it to the content library, then it won't be on your report. Press OK. So once all your graphics have been added and all of your content, the next step is to activate your chat. The first thing you want to do after every kind of step that you make is always press save. Top right. You're going to go to extras and you're going to go to public chats at the bottom and press manage. And you want to add your public chat, which would be called your company name and then chat. And you can also add a pinned message here. So if you want to share something with the delegates that land on your booth, you can do just here, anything you like. Make sure it's short and snappy and press save. So once the public chat's been added, you just press close and then go back to elements. And then what you want to do is just click on the little chat icon there and call it Lola Chat. So there's two steps to be able to set up your public chat and then open public chat. And there it is. We say here auto launch on target. This is when the delegate lands on your booth if you want them to be able to enter your chat straight away so you can talk to them. Press OK. So that's all been set up. As you can see, it gives you a little preview. So just here, I know you can see on the top, there's an orange line, uh, but it does kind of give you an indication of what things look like, which is really cool. We will give you an opportunity to have a proper look around your booth once it's been built. And then you're going to go to extras. And there's a couple more steps that we need to take here. So if you'd like an introduction video to play when the delegate lands on your booth, you would go here. If you follow the instructions that's in the how to build your virtual booth by Six Connects, it's going to show you how to put the intro video into your content library. Once you've added the intro video into your content library using the embed code, it's going to show up here. People movie, please just ignore that. And here, info card and representatives. This will always be enabled. Um, and what you want to do here is press customize. And the info card title, we just call it about us. And this is the description of your company. Again, that 240 character description, just pop that in there. I always put the same in both, just in case there's no booth reps on your booth at that very moment. So if you want to add another PDF that kind of gives the delegates some information about you and how to contact you, you can do that here. And here you can pop in your website URL, Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn links. And this will all show on the information card, which is on your virtual booth. Enable doorbell, so this gives a notification to all of the booth representatives that are in the booth at any one time that a delegate has just landed on their booth. We recommend you turn this off. Notify offline representatives, so if you're not going to have a representative that is going to be on the booth all day long, um, say there's a gap between 12 and 2, and you want to send an email to your team to let them know that somebody's on your booth, you can just tick that. And you want to have all of these ticked except rep checklist. Ignore add a survey. And then the next step is to add your representatives. So you just go to manage. Once your representatives have registered for the event via the URL given to you by the Digit Events team, this is specifically for Digit Booth Reps and is different from the main event website, then your representatives are going to show up here. And then you would just go to add representative and then you can just search for them. You can also upload them or directly input them as well, but we recommend you wait until they've registered just to make sure that their account's been correctly activated for the day. Next thing you want to do is go to settings. This would have already been entered for you, but if you just want to have a look through and make sure that everything is correct, 
The description here is a 240 character description which will display in the exhibition hall of your company, so just keep it concise. Location key, that's the name of your company and that's been set by Digit for you. Once you've completed everything, you just need to make sure you press save and then OK. Once you've finished building your booth, just send an email to exhibitors at digit.fyi and we'll arrange a show around for you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.